Hi, I'm Carl Taylor, photographer and instructor. Hi everyone, I'm Urs Reicher, photographer and consultant at Browncolor. And uh, Urs, we're going to do another how-to video. This one's quite interesting because we're photographing a Cirrus light as a product shot and you're using Cirrus lights to photograph it as exactly, well. Exactly, yes. Cirrus yeah. shoots itself, yes. So we've got a Cirrus at the back there with a big soft box and there's the product. This is, this is not, we're not using this to light. This is the subject we're taking a picture of. Talk me through us what's going on here. What's, what, what's happening? In my eyes, the easiest trick to do this is to have a huge softbox mm -hmm. just behind uh, the object. And this, of course, would create here some white shine. Mm -hmm. Now, the white shine works perfectly if the background is dark, but yes. it would not work nice on the softbox. Yeah. So that's why I use here this flag in between. So you get this lovely rim light all the way around the product. Oh, black on black, but separating. A little bit like the aubergine shot we did. Then you're gonna to have to introduce more lighting to highlight other areas of this product? Absolutely, and the, the, the tricky thing, what we will talk a lot about is, I don't know whether you can see it from the camera, there's actually a bronchial writing here. Okay, but the, the, and it's black as well. It, that's the fun part, you know, it's black writing on the black lampade, mm. so but how do we get it's this? It's glossy black, and that's a matte black. And exactly that's how we um, can separate two blacks, you know, because right. they have different degrees reflection. of reflection. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, this uh, on the lamp head, this is more a, a diffused or a matte reflection. Mm -hmm. And the, the bronchial writing is a little bit more shiny. Yep. There's a, like a, a lack on, so exactly. we work with this. Yeah, so the light's going to react, bounce off it a little bit differently. Exactly. What's this extra one in here then, Ernst? Um, that's, um, yeah, it's, it's just, I call it a window, you know, because here I have, let's say, um, light all around, uh, and these are very aggressive backlights. Mm, straight and into the camera. Straight into the camera, and even if we use a, a, a lens shade, this is not just not precise enough. Mm. And of course, I could have a flag here, a flag here, a flag here, and a force from below. And it's just easier to shoot uh, through this through kind of window. window. So this is basically your flare blocker. To That's stop a flare, flare blocker, yes, yeah. exactly, yeah. Okay, oh, well, let's get started. Uh, let's see what happens with just your first light and let, let's see what it does. Let's have a look. So I let you see the light first. If we take this flag just for a second, we take okay, it out. So with no flare blocker. Shoot it like that. Okay. I put it back in and then we can compare whether it actually makes a difference or not. Okay. So, so there's the first shot. Let me just get this yeah. out of the way. Oh, okay. Exactly. Yeah, you can see the you difference. You can see this quite clearly. Yeah? I mean, right. This yeah, is yeah, yeah. Look, you see all that flare wrapping in around here. Especially here, it's very bad. the contrast. And then the it's stuck. stuck. Yeah. And it's very important to do this at the beginning. Yeah. Because if you have additional lights, and maybe if you don't work on a black background, maybe you work on a gray background, in the end you can't see very precisely. Is yeah. it flare or is it yeah, light in the background? Know. So it's always a... Yeah, good to do it with that first light that is exactly. likely to cause the flare. It's nicely rim lit, but we're not obviously seeing a lot going on on the front of it. I guess we, we now have to look at the, what, what are you gonna do to introduce some illumination on this side? Yeah, I'm gonna use at least two lights. And for the first light, let's take care on this light first. Uh, we have actually two options. I could shoot it in a way that the, this shiny bronchial writing is slightly brighter okay. than the lamp head or darker. Right. But there must be a contrast in between. Yes. So, and I would uh, quickly like to show you both options. Let's have a look, yeah. Good, yeah, that's enough okay. already. So, and now that's the softest possible light. So mm -hmm. a, a reasonable size softbox, but very, very close. Yes. The light is soft, but probably I won't see Oh wow, yeah. Almost so nothing. So, so we, we've got Cirrus illuminated beautifully. We've got this blue bit. The shape is all coming in, yep. but we can just barely see the word bronze color on that product. This makes the light a little harder, and you will see that all of a sudden the, the brand name will show more clearly. Okay, there it look is. at that. Right, so this is due to the reflectance of each surface. Exactly. One we is have... matte, one is gloss. Exactly. All right, so from the other side, we just take another Cirrus yep. and uh, we use it with a P70 normal reflector. Mm -hmm. um, however, uh, just the open reflector, uh, standard reflector is a little bit uncontrolled in my eyes. So yep. I'm just feel a little better if I use it together with a honeycomb, honeycomb. grid. Yep. 
this just cuts the light that wants to go right or left. So I have it on the lamp head, but I don't have it on my black background. I, I don't have it in the lens. So yep. just a little extra light control. Right. Just switch it on and make a test shot. Mm. Power wise, not too much because I'm very close. It looks very bright now, that's just the modeling light. The modeling light isn't full. We actually can take this to proportional modeling light. All right, so this makes more sense. Yeah. Uh, let's give it a try. Okay, well, what power? We're on power four there. So maybe you can give me one and a half more stops. One and a half, so we'll take this up to 5.5. 5.5, five. Five. next okay. try. All right. Okay. So this is looking really nice now. We can see the word brown color here. We can see all that area filled in. Uh, one question I had for you was, was uh, about going back to this part with the gloss mm -hmm. and the matte yes. finish. W what if the client wanted this reversed? What if they wanted the glossy bit to be the, 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 the darker part? Okay, um, that's possible as well. And let's say in the, in the end, you would like to have the negative of this. Yes and then I just take the opposite light. Mm -hmm. So now I'm using a soft box in a reflective angle, mm -hmm. and now I just take a hard box from an angle which is not reflective. Okay. So it's the opposite light, the opposite and it should create the opposite effect. Yeah. I'll take the soft box off. Okay. And I need another normal reflector with grids. Uh, what would you like, sorry? Uh, another normal reflector. Standard reflector P70, P70 with yeah. narrow grids. With a narrow grid, okay. Yeah. Right, so here's P70. Thank you. And I've got three grids left here. I've got one that's a, a tighter one, yeah. one that's a looser one. That's the... And the thick, tight one. Yes, so it's the, the thin, tight one. Okay, those out of the way. All right, so this was the position of the softbox. Yep. And of course, this would just create a very ugly highlight now. Yes. So what I do, I take it out of the reflection angle, okay. get very close, get in the right height. Down. Actually, I'll do it while you look through camera. Yeah, I, I think it's better if no I, I see it better from here, yeah. Okay. So, and now the grids is very important because if you don't have the grids, because of the short distance, you have here a lot more light than and over there. there. Yeah. So with the grids, they actually allow me to aim the light a little bit more over there. Yeah, because so there's still some clipping there. There's exactly. So actually it's here, it's closer, but it's more out of the yeah. light angle. And so the, the light is more right. focused yeah. over there. So the, basically the angle of incidence has changed. So no light reflecting exactly. off gloss, but light reflecting off the mat. That should give us the reverse of what you had before. That's what I hope very much. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow, look, yeah, exactly. excellent, that's great, isn't it? So that's the complete opposite of what we had before. Yeah. Let's just flick uh, back, there we go. So like you said, it's like a negative of the, uh, the other shot. Yeah. So one gives us a, a light off the gloss surface uh, and less light off the matte surface. This one gives us more light off the matte surface and less light off the gloss surface. Okay, so um, either way, whether we go with this yeah. one or whether we go with this one, we still haven't solved the problem of the illumination on the back. We've yes. got to get some of these blue LED lights on here. So Absolutely. We need to uh, put um, some power in this light, get those on. Exactly, we have, to take, uh, we have to put these lights on. We have to take all the lights down. The, yes. the HMIs we... Yeah, modeling lights off. Exactly, to, to close all the curtains and yep. then we have to go for a maybe four or five Second exposure. seconds exposure. Yeah, yeah. okay. Let's, let's try this. Let's try it. Modeling lights off on all these other lights then. So we can trigger it from here yeah, if you want. It makes a lot of sense, long, yes, please. Exposure. And we're going for two and a half seconds exposure now with the flash combined. And then what you see as well, compared to the final shot there, still the cable is in. Huh? Yes, and the, cab the cable is in, yeah. which obviously we could comp two shots together to yeah. without the cable if we don't want the cable in, because obviously that's adding a little bit of extra distraction. But besides from that, you've managed to capture in one shot yes. the outline, the logo, two versions of the logo, mm -hmm. which was really interesting. And by combining it with this two and a half second exposure, we've got the LEDs all illuminated as well. Okay, um, I think that good. was a really good explanation as, um, yeah, very good. So uh, let me just put the lights on again. So Urs, uh, 
I was really impressed with that one. That was a great little how-to video. Um, for people to find out more how-to videos, more how-to stuff on the Braun Color website, they can uh, follow Braun Color's Facebook page. Absolutely. Then they get a regular update on what's new, either we, if we do a new video or uh, not everything is filmed. You know, we have a lot of how-tos, which are just a picture and the lighting diagram and a little text explaining everything. Yep. We try to have one new how-to every 10 to 14 days right. about. Great. So, uh, so, for more information, uh, more great how-to videos and diagrams, lighting diagrams, follow Broncolor on their Facebook page. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.